on top of some parmesan a risotto with some asparagus yummy delicious does that not look amazing oh my god who wants a yummy bite oh what's up yummy biters welcome back to another episode of yummy bites tv y'all we're having a delicious looking I, we don't know what it tastes like yet but i know it's gonna be good um short ribs i was supposed to been made these short ribs y'all but I had enough time today because it takes a while. I recorded it, so if you want to see it, go to my family vlog channel. Uh, it should be up right now. So, uh, oh, and I'm drinking water today. Uh -huh. yes, y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm drinking water too. With some, is not with some Lipton iced tea mixed in it. <laughs> anyway, y'all, this is gonna be our first time trying short ribs. And our first time trying this um, Parmesan risotto, okay? So, you ready? Because yeah. I am. <laughs> well, ask God to bless food if we give thanks, amen. Amen. <laughs> what you learn about risotto at? I told you, I was um, uh, looking at this recipe on TikTok, and she put her beef short ribs on top of risotto. I was like, risotto? I've never had that. I want to try it. Mm-hmm. I'm scared of it. Well, just try it. <laughs> like, my God. Ooh, ooh, they're tender. Ooh, ooh. Yummy. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I thought I turned that thing off. Y'all, the um ice machine is squeaking. What is risotto? Like, what is it? Don't tell me what it's like, because I don't smell like rice. Because it's what Parmesan it? risotto. Okay, so but what is risotto? Is it a vegetable? What is it? Is it a grain? Good question. <laughs> you just wanted some risotto because she was eating it. It looked good. <laughs> what is risotto? What am I not supposed to try stuff? Risotto is a northern Italian rice dish, like I said. It's a so type it's of rice, rice. yeah. Mm. I like it. This is her recipe for these short ribs, too? Mm hmm Anyway, y'all let us know what y'all eating. Happy freaking Thursday. What? I just tasted it. What? The risotto. Do you not like it? I don't think. He done went and got him a bowl of rice because he didn't know if he was going to like the risotto. I like it a lot. Said everything look good, don't take good. 
They're not saying that this. You know what? I don't really care. I'm just saying, How it about be like that? that in life sometimes. It's good to me. It be, it look Everybody like got their own opinion. <coughs> it look good to me, and it is good. Hello. Freaking delicious. Y'all, these um little strings here are um herbs. This is why you don't slave over the rest of it, okay? You do something quick. And that's it. The people appreciate when you do something quick more than when you slave over the stuff. They appreciate the quick, you know, meal. People appreciate Way the more work. than the slaving. Because I, I swear to God, I could be I could be cooking for eight hours and he could sit down at this table and say that something is not good. But it, like, if I say it ain't good, it ain't no ref way of reflecting on you. You just cooking something that somebody on the internet cooked. This is somebody else's food. So if I say I don't like it, I don't like their food. It ain't your food. You know what I'm saying? But I cooked it. I know you cooked it, but <laughs> it's just a TikTok recipe. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a TikTok recipe. Not to me, it ain't. That you it's just a TikTok recipe to you, but I put my heart mm -hmm. into this. What don't you like? Just the risotto, or you don't like short ribs neither? I, I guess it's, I don't really like the short ribs. I guess it's the gravy. They got all kind of weird stuff going on. What kind of weird stuff is in the gravy? I don't know. I taste tomato in it. Just, it's just weird. I guess it's too, uh, you know what I'm saying? What? Mm -mm. It don't have that, like, it's weird. I, I don't agree with the ingredients that's in it. I don't, even though Do I don't know, know what, what they all are, are. No, I don't. I just don't, I don't love it. Well, whatever. <laughs> you no know, way reflecting on you. You try it, you know what I'm saying? You cook something that look good on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good. I wish one of y'all could try it. Because <clears throat> they like, if Marissa don't like it, it's not good. Everybody got their own sleep. If somebody likes something, it's a matter of opinion, y'all. Y'all got to realize that everybody got their own opinion. It's delicious. Some people me. might resonate with my opinion. Some might resonate with hers. We have two totally different tastes, don't we? We sure Y'all can do. see my apple place when we eat. Y'all been hot flashing out. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. It is out of control. For real. I was hot flashing the whole time I was freaking cooking. Mm -hmm. I was like, what is going on here? He rushing me to get things done. Rushing me to get ready. All I did was ask you last night, can we do the video <sighs> early? Like, you know what I'm saying? At a certain time. And then I, I think I, I did good. Up at that certain time. And you was... You was I think you I did pretty about, good. You wasn't trying to. I think I did pretty good as far as time. You, 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 did, you did. I think I did pretty good. <clears throat> it was only 30 minutes after Leia left. We was trying to film by the time she left, but it was 30 minutes after. It was actually an hour after. It was 3 30 before we just got started filming. I'm just saying. Are you trying to? I'm, miss just, me no, I'm just saying. It was an hour later. Yeah. It was 3 30 Oops, when we got started. <laughs> Uh, oh, excuse me, my gosh. 
So what is this, Italian? No, it's, it's Italian, not. right? It's braised short ribs. But I'm saying the woman who cooked it, she's Italian? No, she's black. Oh. And she could eat me. Okay. What? It, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Every black person don't just have the diet of fried pork chops <laughs> and uh, rice and beans. Like, right. Jesus. Where's she from, you know? No. It was just a video. Okay. I don't know. So you're going to sit there and not eat none of it. I'm full. I just ate some ribs. I ate some short ribs. I even ate some, uh, what is this? Asparagus? What do y'all do when y'all's husbands I'm or full. men don't like what you cook? What do y'all do and what does he do? Let me know in the comments. Is that irritating for you ladies? Let me know. It, I would really it, like it, to know. Listen, I feel like. Because I, I, I don't want. Hold on. I. Like, don't want to seem like I'm weird or something because it kind of irritates me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? When I make a whole meal, I need to sit here and frown at it, smell it, and do all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's irritating. It's irritating for I, I me. I feel like you should, um, you should expect... What like if you're gonna take you throw a hail mary basically you just gonna that's what these myths sometimes be. Just, How is I it a hail mary? TikTok and I'm just gonna cook it and just you know what I'm saying. Even though I know he don't even eat risotto, I don't even know what it is. But I'm gonna we cook it for us to eat. New. So how can you? How can you be upset okay. if you throw something new right. at me that I ain't never said I want to try that? Okay. How you gonna be upset if I don't like it? Is that not what's the word for that? Stop being like that. I can be irritated. I can sit here and try <laughs> something and not and not <laughs> like it. I don't have to like some shit just because I tried it. I was a good You're sport right. and tried it. You're right. You're right. I didn't think about it like that. You're right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You're right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I apologize. Mm -hmm. It would be a, a, in order. Apology would be in order. What you talking about? I'm going to ask you for an apology, but it would be in order. Mm. <clears throat> thank God we're not in order. <laughs> Take your time whenever you. I'd be gosh darn if I apologize after I done cooked for all these hours. Hmm. Take your time. I'm gonna need you to eat that deck on me asparagus. <laughs> I mm -hmm. ate some. It got a weird taste. I don't love asparagus, and you know that. I don't like green vegetables. None of them. All this weird stuff. I don't like it, and you know I don't like it. I feel You've like eaten asparagus before. I'm from Louisiana, and you know my mama. And you knew my grandmother, you knew my auntie, you know how all they pots taste. You know what kind of food I like. I don't be liking this whoever like this. This is like somebody must live up somewhere up, like they not blessed enough to be where I'm from. They you know what I'm saying? God bless this the best you know, this is good. Wow, life. he's basically saying that my food is disgusting. No, I'm talking about the woman who who recipe this is. Come on now. If my mama would cook this, no, no offense. This and you, but like this woman, my mama would what? They would just be on fire if my mama cooked this. Or any one of the women in my family. But this woman, you're telling this me woman not to be offended. This, this woman who recipe this is ain't this. Come on, this this somebody else. But you tell me not to be offended. I'm a hard joker to please based on who you know. what I'm saying the woman Trust is me, in my I family. Know. Trust so me, you know what I'm saying. I know. Very much hard to please. A man from Louisiana <laughs> hard to please in the kitchen because he's from Louisiana. What you expect? Come on now, women. Give me a um napkin, please. So would you rather just eat fast food every day then? Of course not. I mean, I cook nothing because you make me not want to cook. Straight up. You make me not want to cook. I'd rather if you would cook more Maybe stuff Maybe you got to be familiar. in my shoes. Like rest, cook like a dish and recipes that's familiar. You know what I'm saying? Like cook it like home style. Like ask your mama or my mama They would cook never something. get anything new. You know what I'm saying? If I cooked only the stuff that you... They wouldn't, y'all would literally. Like, you're going to ask one. He asked me to stop eating mamas. tacos on Tuesday. I want to cook some short ribs. How I cook, how, 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 how should I cook them, you know? And then, like, learn from one of them. Not everybody on TikTok ain't good. I am almost good. 50 years old. What I look like asking, calling somebody and asking them for it's a It's flavors recipe. that's familiar to you and taste good to you. Some people that you can agree that, you know, y'all uh, taste buds are the same. Y'all right. like the same okay. stuff. Not a person on TikTok or some shit that look good. It's so all kind of flavors that you don't really ain't into. Come on, man. 
Whatever. I'm it's giving ungrateful. I'm to just me. what I, That's what it's giving. It's just we're doing a video and we're trying to do ungrateful. You know, I appreciate your hard work, but you don't have to work that hard. You for to do a video, we could eat something. Fast. It don't matter. Or it could be, you Nobody want to eat like that every day. It could day. be something you threw together fast. You don't got to slave for no video. I don't think. And if we ate everything that he liked. I don't think a video is liked, worth slaving over. If we ate everything he liked, we would be having fried chicken every day. Fried chicken, rice and beans, and fried pork chops. And hamburgers, my bad. No, like, it, this would have just been slightly different, you know? It's like, this would have been a different gravy. It wouldn't have had no tomato in it, for sure. And we wouldn't have had asparagus, we probably would have had How you know some, there's tomato in there? I can taste it. We wouldn't have had asparagus, we would have had some potatoes or something. There's no tomato. Can't Smarty. Well, what, 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 what am I tasting as tomato in there? What, what's going on? It's a lot in there. Something that you put in here has tomato in it, I can taste it. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with short ribs. I don't ribs. care anymore. It's just the it's just the it's just the recipe. When you Y'all go to TikTok and just plate. pick a it's recipe, good to me. it's like you're just spinning the wheel, the roulette wheel. <laughs> what it's gonna taste like? <laughs> Is it gonna be good? <laughs> Let's see where it landed. Well, people like to see different stuff sometimes. Okay. This is a video. And can so, I keep it real? I'm supposed to sit here and whatever. pretend that it's good. If I don't like it and be fake, is that what I'm supposed to do? Is, that, is that, that what is that what mukbangers do? Because I'm not on mukbang. I didn't say that. <clears throat> I guess maybe you can could say you know, it in I'm another sorry way. If, yeah, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you could say it a little bit more gentle yeah. for somebody who's been cooking since this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry that hurt your feelings. Maybe you could be. I, it didn't hurt my hurt. daggone feelings. Okay, it didn't hurt my feelings. He's trying to be fucking funny. Why you got uh, all these elves? You really perturbed, huh? I literally said that one time in this video. But I'm saying you. I had to let it off. I had to let that off. Golly. Like he's trying to be funny. I'm. I, it's 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 irritating. <clears throat> My feelings ain't hurt. Excuse me. Yeah, you know I me. Mean. So, yeah, I'll take. This delicious friggin' y'all look at this meat. Look at fall off the friggin' bone. Mmm. I just don't understand how he don't like it. <laughs> but it is good. Okay. <clears throat> Topics. Let's see what we got here. Uh uh. I do not want to talk about freaking Donald Trump. Uh, they approve reparations in California and everybody packing up and leaving y'all because they don't want to pay those taxes that's going to pay the reparations for these um Well, they going to put a new tax out to pay the reparations? There's going to be some That's extra just where taxes. it's going to come from. Like, where else is it going to come from? Every uh, person who's qualified is going to get, I think it said 1.8 million. It's like almost 2 million. It's not even 2 million, y'all. Like, I just feel like that is not enough money. I feel like ain't nobody going to, ain't hardly nobody going to get them checks. Ain't no way they're going to break every black person off in California. Almost $2 million. There's no way. The people that are, are um, qualified. That's what I'm saying. The qualifications are probably going to be hard as hell to even prove. Because uh, cause of the way that we would rip the part. Our family tree was ripped apart. How the hell are we supposed to prove something? We all a victim of this oppression and this tyranny and all of these atrocities that didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, for them to sit up there and try to put guidelines around it, to me, that's a fence to keep most people from getting it. So we'll see who going to get it. Wouldn't that be nice? Become a millionaire overnight. Well, mm -hmm. 1.8. Huh? I mean, you could probably start well, you a business, tax to a business, but you could start you a business, but I just we don't think that's enough. You could do a whole lot more to start a business. I don't, I don't Man, feel that's like that's enough money. Girl, life, that's you think life that's change. life change? I feel like it could go so me? quick. I really do feel that way. Of course you can spin it up quick if you're foolish, but if you know, if you just halfway wise, that's life changing. Yeah, I guess it could be. It could be. Y'all, we watched this movie called Soft, Soft and Quiet last night. 
on um, Netflix. <laughs> Have y'all watched that? Because somebody on TikTok, of course, said that it was like one of the scariest movies that they ever seen. And I was like, hmm. I can't believe they called it scary. And I don't even like scary it's movies. It's not a scary movie. But I asked Mercia, I was like, you want to watch this? Uh, after he got off live stream, you want to watch this um, uh, scary <clears throat> movie? They said it's scary. And he was skeptical, of course, from the jump. And um, <laughs> so we watched it. Was a, it was a pretty it wasn't good even movie, a scary movie, though, but it wasn't Will scary. Agree. It wasn't even at trying to be a scary movie. All like it wasn't, it wasn't what it scary was. at all. That person who said that was just weird. But what was it then? That was what do you call that? Um, I don't even know how you would categorize that. I wouldn't categorize that as a scary movie though. That's ridiculous. It was a. It was kind of disturbing. It was like a it was almost like a documentary, not a yeah, documentary, but that's like that's what it felt like. It was like a real life, you know what I'm saying? Showing how somebody could how to take how things can quickly escalate and somebody end up getting killed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the actresses were really talented because it it. It seemed like really believable. Mm -hmm. Like when you were watching it, you seemed like it seemed like it was something real that you were watching. Um, I don't know what that's called, but the camera style was—I think they call it home movie style, camcorder style. Yeah, it was where it's shaking and stuff on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and weird camera angles. I, I like movies like that. That step outside the box of traditional ways of doing right. everything lighting and shooting and the type of movie and the way it's supposed to be done I right it kept us minute, watching though. it kept our attention it kept his i was surprised once it got good how long it took a while to get good though didn't it did it? it did why don't we tell him what it was about like <laughs> oh, i'm ruining the move y'all gotta go check it out oh yeah i guess so soft and quiet on netflix y'all it's supposed to be trending. I didn't see it on trending. Did you, did you see it on trending? Because I didn't. I didn't even go there. I don't know that. Jamie Foxx is still in the hospital, allegedly. Unless this is an old. Um, no, yeah. God bless. Because I just like, watched the video. What is about, going on? Yeah, I, They're not saying nothing. Like. He, he on the Breakfast away. Club, they said that his family is preparing for the worst. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my God! Like that's too daggone early. I mean, that don't mean that he' gonna pass, but I mean, they just that's they just you know I guess you know sometimes you just prepare for the worst, you know, just in case, and then people surprise you. So you know, what I'm saying, keep Jamie and y'all prayers. God bless. Wow. <clears throat> Wow. He was talking about uh Yeah. Something like he was saying something. Uh, I heard somebody reporting about him saying something about uh this is good. <laughs> like fearing for his life, like somebody was trying to take him out or something. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what that what that's all about. Exactly, that's what I wanna know. Remember I said it. Um and they were saying, you know who um might have had something to do with it because they had got into it. Days before this happened. Love David? Yes. Allegedly. That joker there. Well, yeah. that's evil something right there. I mean. That joker got a lot of blood on his hands. People have no idea. Allegedly. Okay, so I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about um, <clears throat> this show that um, Jocelyn in New York is on. Okay, I don't even know the name of this. Um, what is this called? They're in school or something, y'all. I don't know what this what this uh, reality show is called, but Jocelyn in New York, y'all y'all remember New York? Um. Anyway, so New York's dog passed away and she didn't call her a dog she called her, her uh i believe her little girl or her daughter and um she told everybody that her daughter passed away right 
And, uh, you know, Jocelyn, you know, gave her her condolences, gave her a hug and all that, right? And, but nobody knew that she was talking about her, her dog, okay? So, eventually, they found out that she was talking about her dog. And Jocelyn, she was like, oh, girl, I thought you was talking about a person. You talking about a dog? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, when people oh, don't grow up with dogs. Or, exactly. <laughs> Big time. And, <laughs> you know, New Hilarious. York, she was crying. She was like, wow. you know, how could you do, you know. Damn. And I probably would have, no, nah, I probably, no, nah, I wouldn't have because that's just cruel. Wow. But I probably wouldn't have understood if I didn't have a dog. Now, because I didn't grow up with a dog, y'all. Marshall knows and he, he. You know, he loves dogs. He, he Didn't you grow up with dogs? Mm -hmm. Didn't y'all have dogs? My mom didn't like dogs at all. And so we never had a pet. No type of pet. I think we had a hamster. We had a hamster. Mm -hmm. um, but no type of dogs, the cats, none of that, right? And I didn't understand the love that people had for animals. You know, I felt just like Jocelyn. Like, what? A dog? Like, it's just a dog. But y'all, I feel like sometimes you can feel more for a freaking animal than a daggone human sometimes. <laughs> like, it, am I not right about that? Yeah, puppy love is real. I, I mean, <laughs> it, it really is. <laughs> it really is. But um, yeah, they just like bundles of joy. They just love you so much. You know, they just be sitting there watching you so... and just looking at you. Then as soon as you, as soon as y'all make eye contact, they come jump in your lap, and you know it's just, just yeah. Just. I don't know. Okay. Like I used to didn't understand it at all, but I mean I understand now. Like like my worst grief came from a dog that we had, y'all. I had never felt anything like that in my mm. life when she passed away. Like never. Like, I was in pain, physical pain for, a, like, a, how long was it? A week? A week yeah, straight. It, I was like a zombie. Because she ain't just passed away. She was taken by an animal in the yeah. woods, and you heard it. Oh, that was traumatizing. That's yeah, what it was. and you heard that. Oh, man. <sighs> that damn country, bro. I did I'm not glad know. we added that. I did not know what we was, that we was getting into, that they had wolves and, uh... All these animals, mountain lions, and I don't know if that was a wolf or a dog yeah, we or a fox. We don't know what it was. Uh, that we had seen in that backyard. That's yeah. probably what it was that got a big old dog. Oh, you think so? Yeah. It had to be. Whatever it was, it didn't make no noise. <sighs> yeah. I just heard Whitney, you know? So, <clears throat> anyway... Um, yeah, so, yes, you can, you can feel like a dog or an animal is your child, okay? You have to take care of them like one, you know? So, anyway, <clears throat> Jocelyn was wrong for that. I mean, she was just acting like, and she, it was a dog? And she never oh, did, man, you know, even like, like, well, I'm sorry, I didn't No, go, she wow. stayed mad about it. Wow. I was like, Wow. Wow. Oh, um, Planet Fitness, y'all. Uh, they're doing something for teenagers. I don't know what age, like the age range, but um, teenagers are going to be able to go to Planet Fitness. Allegedly, y'all. Okay, that's what I heard. Um, teenagers are going to be able to go to Planet Fitness um, throughout the summer for free. <sighs> um Apparently, it's about, like, mental health, you know, trying to help with, you know, kids' mental health and stuff like that. Because they know, you know, if you work out, that'll help your mental health. So, that's what they're doing for, for teenagers. And I think that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, Get your son's punching bags. That's real good. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Exercise. Mm -hmm. And let off steam and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Like Jaden love punching on the thing. We be having so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Well, have y'all been seeing those clips of Beyonce's uh, tour? She getting it. But in one clip, y'all, she was doing some song. I can't remember the name of the song. She have no energy. I was like, what is wrong with Beyonce? What is she doing? This is not like her. What? Yeah, she wasn't doing like the model walk that she usually, you know, when she stomps and she... Like, y'all know what I'm talking about if you're a Beyonce fan. And yeah, I was like, what is change. going on with Beyonce? She always give 115, 150%, you know what I'm saying? But all the other, you know, clips that I've seen, like, she was giving it. It was just that one. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I don't have it, of course. But, um, yeah, I was shocked. Um... What else? <clears throat> what is this? I'm so tired. I'm missing my own bag. I don't feel like my leg, the void, right? My lower back. I tell you, there and in, and in my forearms, just from like this repetitive motion of like. This man was putting himself in the place of these Mexicans that be out there picking, you know, mm -hmm. these, you know, fruit and all this stuff oh, for these see what people. Like to be there for a day. Exactly. Yeah. And apparently, um, I think they get allegedly, y'all, they get paid like two and three dollars an hour. Is that freaking true? They must be doing it in Mexico, right? No. In America, no way they're doing that in America. This is, that's of against course, the law. This is America. This is America. Uh, well, that's against, of course that's against the law. You know, minimum wage is not two or three dollars. But remember, they're illegal aliens, so mm -hmm. maybe that's why they were getting that. Anyway, they're not they said that if Americans were to take that job, they would have to pay them at least thirty dollars an hour, and then they said. Um, like if you went to the grocery store, the like orange juice would be like twelve dollars. I was like, wow. But he said he can't even do it. This this man, this white man, he he out there and he said that he can't he can't do like he said his wrist was hurting and you have to like fill up this like bin. You have to fill it up. I believe he said you have to fill it up in order to get paid. Damn. And I'm like, wow. Freaking wow. Like, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Everybody is leaving Florida. Well, that's just Florida. So, I mean, um, oh. Like, what's going to happen, though? Oh, what's going to happen with orange juice? Because that's where they're growing all No, what juice. is going to happen with with a lot of stuff? Like, it's not just orange juice. Honestly. like and People getting those... their house, houses built. Roofs. You know, what about when um, hurricane season comes? What you then? Know what's going like, to happen? We're going to go back to... Because when I was growing up, there were no uh, Mexicans to lean on to that, you know, oh, we got some hard work we need done. Let's go to Home Depot and hire some Mexicans that's in the parking lot waiting for work. That ain't always existed. The mm -hmm. Mexican roofing crew who going to come and... That ain't always existed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Before then, it was black people doing a lot of that hard uh, stuff. Or white people. You know, there's, like, there's people who are willing to work hard. That's not Mexican. It just so happened that the Mexicans was willing to do it a little bit cheaper and mm -hmm. willing to work a lot harder. You know what I'm saying? They got, you know, they. So you think that we gonna get out there and start doing these jobs? I just don't they, think so. Somebody is. I just don't don't put so. me in it. But you know, a man gonna do I'm what he got saying. to do to feed his family. You know. Wow. We sure ain't finna be doing it for no three, two to two or three dollars an hour though. So that's something that the uh, you know the orange juice company gonna have to. That's their problem. What you know what? Do. That's right. That's their problem. And that's gonna free up a whole lot of jobs. I don't even like oranges. I like mandarins better. I know me too. And why I ordered some mandarin, thinking I was gonna be getting them big ones that you had got from Sprouts. They're mandarin, but they're the cutie ones. Wait. I'm like, how they gonna give me some cuties? What? Uh, yeah, I did get those from Sprouts, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Okay. That's why I had ordered some. And you didn't order them from Sprouts? Yes. But you got a different kind. Yeah. I got cuties, but they're Mandarin cuties. Yeah. I had never even seen a big one. I thought all Mandarins was little. 
But you got big ones. That's the first time I would I was surprised. Oh. I've never seen them that big. Yeah. Oh, anyway. So cuties are baby mandarins or whatever. They little ones. They're not mm -hmm. supposed to be. Regular exactly. size mandarins is like an orange. Mm -hmm. So much better. Yeah. And I hope these are good because I'm gonna be freaking mad. Mm, I'm gonna juice some and uh. I wanted to juice some before this video. I wanted to be drinking it, mm. but I didn't have enough time. You could have while you were sitting there running your no. mouth complaining I, that I was taking too long to find a hat or whatever. Y'all, let me tell you something. Wasn't even, he rushes the plates me, wasn't even and then ready or nothing. when I say, "Are you ready?" I'm ready. But you don't be he ready. He takes though. another. You don't be ready. Thirty to forty-five minutes to put on a shirt. You like to have people wait on you. I've learned and that. a necklace. You like to have people wait on you. Uh -huh. You'll sit, you'll be yapping and yapping and yapping for me to come downstairs. I'll finally get down here, and then that's when you decide to go ahead and make the plate and get all the way ready. Yeah, because I don't want, oh, you know why I do it, y'all? Because I don't want the plate just to be sitting there getting cold waiting for him. But I literally be telling you, I'm coming. All I got to do is put on my jewelry and put on a hat or something. And when he says he's coming, it'll be 30 minutes later. It'll be 30 minutes. I promise you. It might be five minutes. It might be the time it would have took you to make the plate. But you'd rather have somebody wait on you than for you to be waiting on somebody and just, nah, you got to make sure that this done first and then I'm going to take the next step. You can't just like do the both steps and meet at the middle. You got to wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I got to do. Okay. Anyway, so what are we going to do about that cake over there? Because you going to what? You ain't throwing I it away. I need for y'all to get rid of it. Now. I need you to have some willpower because, yeah. I'm trying my best. I'm asking y'all to remove it. Like, mm. put it somewhere to where I can't freaking see it. I'm not going to get a piece of that pine uh -uh. right now. No. <laughs> Wait, man. I started my workout today. And I, I thought, you know, what's the easiest way for me to get back into it? And I was like, I have a freaking treadmill. Just do I'm it. I'm just going to get on the treadmill. Because I was going to hop right into my Zumba. Again, but I think that I could ease into it better by just hopping on the treadmill. You know what I'm saying? I think that's one of the running place. Like we doing now? Ain't doing that. You got a treadmill, huh? <laughs> yeah, I got a treadmill. Anyway, ten out of ten will recommend, baby. Oh, let me shout out the girl who I. I'm your mom now. Got this. Um, Ariana Ruiz. And no, she's not Spanish. She's black. Well, she, well, she might be an Afro-Latina. Yeah, obviously. Um, Unless she married one. You know, she might have married somebody. Anyway, Ariana Ruiz on TikTok, y'all. That's where you're going to get this recipe from. It's delicious. Add some salt to that recipe. Add, yeah, add some. She literally, y'all, didn't add any seasoning except for on the meat. Salt and pepper. That was it. There was no more seasonings it was just herbs and you know stuff like that so add some seasoning you didn't you add, anyway you put some seasoning when you cook of it? course i did right. um 10 out of 10 would recommend i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure y'all follow me on tiktok and instagram and the family vlog channel y'all okay family vlog channel yummy bites tv behind the scenes a link should be in the description box somewhere um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Do you see how light it is now? It looks the same to me. God help us. I'm not that observant with that. I mean. It's so much brighter. Like. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, uh, uh. Hey, 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 h